Hello guys, this is Narsha. In this video, I will show you a simple method to recover the files or folders from your infected external drive, be it a hard disk drive, pen drive, memory card, etc. etc. Now, firstly, you must understand the problem properly, and then I will be showing you its solution. Alright, the problem scenario is that we plug in our external drive. Consider there are 10 folders in the drive and one PowerPoint file. It's just an example. Now, when you just simply open the drive, you find that instead of 10 folders present in the drive, 10 shortcuts for those files are present. And when you click on those folders, you get an error message. And thus, you cannot access the file inside the folders. Furthermore, the PowerPoint file say it is not infected, so it's still intact and it can be accessed. If you will check the properties tab of your external drive, then it will show you the correct used space of the drive, say 7 GB in our current situation. But those folder shortcuts plus the PowerPoint file corresponds to merely KBs of data. It means that our data is still residing in our drive, but it is in hidden mode. So don't worry, we will get it back. But before the solution, I will give you a brief explanation as to why this happened. This generally happens when a virus infects a file or a folder in such a way that the folder or a file is faked as a system file or system folder. And by default, Windows operating system hides system files and folders and thus you cannot access the data in those folders or you cannot access the file because it's hidden so what you just see in the pen drive is just the shortcuts which gives a warning of being a system file or folder when double clicked also in some cases the shortcut which I have discussed in our problem scenario are not visible in such a case only the PowerPoint file if it is not infected will be visible to you. This may happen when you run a scan for viruses in your external drive before opening it. Antivirus quarantines the infected files in folders to its quarantine directory and thus even the shortcuts are not visible. Remember that in previous case if you will double click those shortcuts the virus will execute its code in your system. Don't do that. Now coming to the solution portion which is very very simple and yet very effective for Windows XP users what you have to do is you open your drive once you open your drive go to tools at the top bar folder option and then go to view tab once you go to the view tab check mark the option which says show hidden files and folders and you have to uncheck this one which is the hide protecting protected operating system files recommended you have to uncheck this because when you will uncheck it, it then operating system will show you the system files for Windows 7 you have to follow this step there is a slight change here in uh, Windows XP you go to tools at the top bar but uh, in Windows 7 you have to go to organize now I will show you the example of this entire problem scenario I have the infected pen drive so this is the infected pen drive in my drive L. When I double click on it, you can see there are a lot of shortcuts in uh, this pen drive. And this these files with these names, uh, panpass.fig, bandreject.fig, these are my personal files which have been converted into the shortcut because of the infection with the virus. And this is the folder which was containing a lot of amount of data in it. I will show you just now. And this was the PowerPoint slide. In our, our case, the PowerPoint slide was intact. It was not infected. But here the virus is, has in also infected the PowerPoint fly or file also. So I will first show you its properties. The properties of this pen drive say that use space is 2.39 GB. And free space is 5 GB. This is an 8 GB pen drive. So 2.39 GB is use space, but uh, when you will see the content of this pen drive, you will see that uh, these are shortcuts of 2 KBs. So they are KBs of data. So where is the 2.39 GB of data? So that was in this XYZ folder, 
now it has now it has been converted into the shortcut now what will we do we'll follow our steps we'll go to tools since I'm using a Windows XP so I will go to tools folder option and in the folder option I will go to the view tab and uh, I will click on show hidden files and folders and I will uncheck this option which is hide protected operating system files and it will give me a warning that uh, editing or modifying the operating system files may result in something 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 so I did it I, I will not modify and not delete the system file and I will click on apply and click on OK so when I click on OK and apply you see this XYZ folder this is the 2.38 GB so this is uh, has been recovered and these as I've seen this was my personal files so they these are also being recovered here now what I can do is I can just copy these files to my system and uh, use them and uh, this is how you can perform this entire task so when you see the shortcut don't worry you can get the data back with this method there is another method which uh, does not work every time suppose you scan your external drive open it and your files are not found there then you can go to your antivirus quarantine directory and restore the infected object back to its original location and access your file this will infect your system remember this will infect your system if the virus is a messy one but at the end you retrieve your file so this is how you will do it in my case I am using Avira antivirus so Avira antivirus has a quarantine directory somewhere here in the administration tab I clicked on it and it will show me the entire quarantine directory contents of the end quarantine directory quarantine directory basically directory which contains all the viruses so suppose the one two three and four these four viruses were found in a pendrive what I can do is right click and restore object it will give you a warning that restoration of the object will result in some wrong thing because it's a virus file so you click on yes and get your data back but remember as I have said this does not work in every case and uh, so you can use this method this method you can use this method and for Windows 7 this method but in some cases this method does not work but the method which I have shown you at the end works so you can use that method so that's it for this tutorial guys and we'll be meeting in our next tutorial till then goodbye